Hey, there's Captain Lance Valentine here. We are moving into February and we are every day, one day closer to one of my favorite times of the year. And that is Detroit River walleye jigging late March, April, even into even into actually towards the end of May. It stays good. So February, we're going to focus on the Detroit River, but we're not going to focus on technique and rods and jigs. We're going to focus on walleye movement. You know, it's being someone who keeps good records, talks to a lot of fishermen every year. The way Detroit River walleyes use the river has definitely changed the last five, six, seven, eight, ten years. The way that fish come in the river, how long they stay, how they disperse throughout the river, where they spawn, where they travel, how they come in and out of the river has definitely changed. You know, no longer is the power plant in Trenton sending out warmer water. One of the things that really attracted fish to the Trenton Channel, especially early in the season, we don't have that factor anymore. You know, we're not getting the same amount of ice and snow cover on Lake Erie. So the reefs are warming at a different time of year. There's more sunlight penetration. The whole food chain gets moving a little faster in Lake Erie, which now affects how many fish come up the Detroit River, when they come up, and where they come up. You know, I break the Detroit River down in basically three different entry points. The Trenton Channel, uh, in through the small part, in the Trenton Channel side, and then off to the east and then the Amherstburg Channel on the Canadian side. And each one of those channels attract fish at a different time of year for a different reason. And the fish come and disperse throughout the river differently and they stay or leave varying amounts of time depending on when and where they come up the river. That's all important part of understanding how the Detroit River walleyes actually act. And that's what we're gonna cover in next week's workshop at Teaching Fish and Anglers Club. We're gonna cover how do walleyes come up the Detroit River, how their patterns have changed, how they disperse throughout the river, and where your best chances of catching them are, and what you can do looking at a good map chip or specifically a good lake map, how you can use those to determine where the fish are gonna be coming, where they're gonna disperse throughout the river, and your best chances to catch them. So, join us next Tuesday on the Teaching Fish and Anglers Club for our workshop covering Detroit River walleye migration and movements. You're not going to want to miss it. Hey, if you're not already a member of the Teaching Fish and Anglers Club, check out the link right here and you can become a member and join us next week for our Teaching Fish and Anglers Club workshop covering Detroit walleye migration and movements. Something you're going to want to learn more about so you can catch more fish this spring. Angus Captain Lance Valentine here. You know, one of the things we've got coming up for 2021 is the combination of the Teach and Fish and Angers Club and the Teach and Fish and Subscription Service. We're going to bring all those memberships under one banner called the Teach and Fish and Angers Club. You know, 15 years ago, we started the Angers Club with a chance to give hardcore anglers a place to share information with like minded anglers, give them a deeper dive into some of the topics we talk about, give them some great seminars, and access to other materials that the regular public doesn't get. Thanks for all your support in the past. We look forward to a great 2021.